3D bioprinters have been used to create things like robots, real human stem cells, and other scientific breakthroughs. The newest breakthrough, bioprinted skin. Researchers from Carlos III University of Madrid have shown it is possible to produce proper human skin from individual biological components. The lead researcher, bioengineering professor Jose Luis Horcano, spoke with me about how this process works. Well, the, the main difference in between a uh, standard 3D printer and a bioprinter is the, the inks, okay? So in a standard printer, uh, like the one we have in, in our computer, you use uh, colorings, okay, which are mixed properly, uh, uh, appropriately by the computer, and, uh, and uh, then to produce uh, eventually, okay, at the end, uh, you know, the print of uh, text or a color text or, or a color figure, okay? Or other 3D printers uh, work with, uh, in general, with uh, um, plastic polymers, okay? Mm -hmm. But when you try to print uh, uh, tissues, then you have to, to work with uh, biological components. Uh, which biological components? Okay, so for instance, in the case of skin, you need uh, two types of cells because the skin uh, has two compartments, the epidermis, which is the, the outermost, and the dermis, which is the innermost. Uh, the two have dif are populated by different types of cells. So you need those cells, you need proteins to, to make a scaffold in which uh, you have to integrate uh, your cells in order to, to give a shape, a 3D shape and a mechanical consistency to, to your fabricated tissue. And then you need uh, growth factors, um, uh, chemicals, etc., in order to, 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 to make at the end the, the tissue. Now, so Professor... I understand that this bioprinted skin, that it's, it's one of the first living human organs ever created using the living cells and the biotissues that you were talking about. I wanted to ask what the most important medical applications are there for it. Well, uh, there are two types of, of applications, medical applications and industrial applications. The medical applications are to make uh, large surfaces of, of, of skin, starting from a small biopsy from a patient or, or a donor, in, in general from a patient, to make large uh, uh, skin surfaces uh, from uh, its uh, own cells in such a way that uh, this patient will not reject uh, the produced skin, okay? We can do this uh, today already uh, have a lot of experience and, uh, and clinical applications, but we do it manually. So in our, labora our laboratory, we have developed a method uh, to obtain large skin surfaces, starting from the small biopsies from patients, but we do it manually. Now what we, we, we got with the, with the bioprinting is that we have automatized and standardized uh, the procedure and then it will be uh, at some point cheaper and, uh, and more reproducible. Okay, so but, but right now what we did was to establish what we call the proof of concept. Okay, so just using 3D bio, uh, printing uh, technology, you can produce a skin that is uh, perfectly function functional and uh, from the structural point of view, uh, extremely similar to, to normal human skin. So can these be used for burn patients as well in the future? Yes, this is uh, this is one of the future of the future of the future applications. Uh, uh, the problem when you think in, in, in patients is that the, their regulation is uh, very strict, and then you have to go to go through it. Okay. So today, I said uh, just in the case of bound uh, pa patients, we have very well established me methods which are, you know, uh, in, uh, by which we produce a uh, scheme by, by, by hand, right. uh, which are already authorized and used in, the, in, in our hospitals. And there is a company, okay, that is bringing this into, into so commercial uh, use, okay? Uh, but uh, in the future, uh, when we implement uh, uh, still a little bit our our technology. Then 
at one point this technology will be competitive with the with the with the scheme made uh, by hand. The problem when you think uh, in, in in modern patients is that they are a special case because what do you what you do with these patients is personalized medicine. Okay, you have to start uh, uh, from cells uh, from the own patient. And then from a small uh, biopsy, then you get a reduced number of cells, and then you have to amplify these numbers very much in your lab until mm -hmm. you can place them into the uh, bioprinter to print to print the skin. Okay. It's uh, it sounds yeah. like really incredible medical breakthrough to be able to use this unique living cell to create the skin. We have run out of time we're going to have to leave it there but jose luis orcano professor of bioengineering at carlos iii university of madrid thank you so much for your time